I'm Don Nelson. Here's what you can expect on Six on Your Side to Five. The feds weigh in on Idaho's ban on hemp. We are learning what it might mean for truck drivers who face drug trafficking charges for driving the crop through the gem state. Live fire training with Abrams Tanks out of the Orchard Combat Training Center is helping National Guards members prepare for deployment. Here's Scott with weather. Don, more showers and storms going to be developing in all these green shaded regions behind me. These two large ones are a flash flood watch in effect uh, in the Boise Mountains, all of Boise County, north of Elmore County, and north of the Camas Prairie in the mountains uh, to the north there in the Uwahi Mountains, including Silver City, uh, south of Homedale. You've got to go to the higher elevations of the Southern Magic Valley as well. Flash flood watch in effect until 10 o'clock tonight because of slow moving storms. We could have some flooding going on. This is also a flood warning right here or a flood watch for the Bruno River, and that's until tomorrow at least at 926. We may get some flooding, so we may reach flood stage at that time frame. But in the meantime, there you see that flash flood watch uh, in effect. Uh, for these regions here in these shaded regions. So we're going to watch for showers and storms. Don't have a Boise Doppler radar, but regional radars nearby are showing some of the green, but it's not as widespread as it really should be. The blue regions are where we may have some showers forming already, and that lightning shows where the thunderstorms are. Sun Valley getting hit hard right now as well. The bottom line is, though, the showers and storms may disappear after tomorrow. Sunshine and into the 80s over the weekend. Check back to my Facebook page for any watches or warnings. They'll come out instantly and we'll send you updates right here later today.